we get a possible date for the rumored iPhone mini launch. New Galaxy S7 rumors also bring information on a possible date. And believe it or not, more customers keep ditching Android over iOS. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, how are you liking the news earlier these days? We'd love to know in the comments down below. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begins with Samsung as the company has just announced its new Galaxy A7, Galaxy A5, and Galaxy A3 for 2016. And these phones are not cheap change, particularly the first two, the A7 and A5. I mean, they got specifications that uh, look a lot like the Galaxy S6. Their designs look a lot like the Galaxy S6. We've got optically stabilized cameras here. 1080p AMOLED displays, we've got a fingerprint scanner, and options for Samsung Pay and expandable storage. We should learn more about these phones by mid-December, but uh, man, these phones are really cool. Other official news come from Motorola. For those of you missing those glory days when you would get software updates even earlier than Nexus phones, well, uh, it's not the same story now, but uh, we've got Motorola claiming that the Moto X 2015 should be getting Marshmallow very soon. There are soap tests being conducted on the update, and we should probably get it by next week if all the tests go well. We'll keep you posted. And moving the spotlight over to rumors and returning to Samsung, the biggest question we have is when are we getting the Galaxy S7? And uh, even though we had sources that were claiming that it would happen in a trade show and then the rumors returned to that it would, now we've got some very trusted sources claiming that it will happen at a trade show, but weren't specific as to whether it would be CES or MWC. Whatever the case may be, the Galaxy S6 was announced at MWC, so that is most likely going to be the case, and uh, we hope so, as it would be rather cool. And speaking of hot phones that might happen early next year, the iPhone mini is another one of them, and trusted sources claim that it could happen in February, but this is where things get confusing, as uh, these rumors are actually talking about the iPhone 6C, which would retain the 4-inch display, which might bring different color options, but we're not exactly sure if it will mimic the iPhone 5C or the iPhone 5S. This is where things, again, get confusing. We should learn more as rumors continue to evolve. We might even get two phones, by the way. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with how many people switched from Android to iPhones this year. Last year was big news with the launch of the iPhone 6. Tim Cook made a big deal out of it, but uh, even though Apple hasn't really said anything, we've got analysts claiming that this is the year when that happened most. It seems that 26% of iPhone 6S customers came from Android. And according to these customers, it had a lot to do with the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, but it leads me to the question of the day. Why do you think that people continue switching from Android to iOS? Do you think it's lack of stability? Do you think it's lack of options? Because if anything, Android has a lot more options than iPhones. But we'd love to know what you think in the comments down below because I really can't figure it out, especially with the cool Android phones that we got this year. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.